Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to draw a dragon in two different ways. Let's get started. So I'm going to draw the first dragon that you see on the right hand side here, the cute little um, green dragon. So we want to start off by drawing all of the basic shapes that will make up the final outline later on. Here I've drawn a spear to represent its head, followed by another um, type of spear to um, represent its bulbous um, beak. As you can see, the two spears overlap one another because the beak is protruding out from the head. Next, you want to draw the eye line and roughly the center of the spear. As the animal is looking um, sideways, the, uh, the center line is far away from you and it's more towards the um, left hand side, as you can see. Using the eye line that crosses the center line, I've drawn um, two, two ovals to represent the eyes followed by another reference point using the eye line i'm drawing two ears here as you can see they are triangular in shape and there's a line in them somewhere in roughly in the middle to represent the ears next you want to start drawing the neck which is basically a cylindrical shape with slightly um, inward curves on the left hand side and a smoother curve on the right hand side as you can see we now want to follow this up by drawing a its um its body, which is round but not so completely round, and it's kind of more like an egg shape, because you don't want the body to look too round like a circle. Otherwise, the anatomy of the body won't look as um as natural, you could say. Just imagine the body as a egg shape with a sense of volume in it. You want to follow this up by starting to draw the front and then the back legs a little bit later. As you can see, I've referenced animals like dogs and cats and four-legged animals to copy the joints and then use it on this dragon. The shapes making up the legs are basically two round cylindrical shapes. For the front legs, it's slightly bent inwards and we're going to Follow that up with drawing the um, the feet, which are also equally as round. You might notice that the shapes that I'm drawing here for this style of dragon are quite round. And this is the look that we're going for if you want to make the dragon look cuter. So here I'm drawing the back legs. Notice how the back and the front legs have different number of joints. The front legs have two joints and the back leg have three joints, just like a four-legged animal. You don't really have to be very neat with the construction sketches, but it's important that you get it right in the stage so the final outline will be a lot easier. After drawing the legs, we're going to add further detail to the construction lines by drawing the dragon's tail. Imagine drawing the tail as a series of curves that bent outwards, inwards, and then outwards again, kind of like drawing the contours of a little snake. Adding further detail, we're going to add the, um, the fins at the end of that tail, I've first um, drawn just four quick lines just to give me a rough guide as to where the U-shaped curves are going to be. And then we're going to connect it together. The next detail I'm drawing here are the dragon's horns. As you can see, the horns are very um, round and cylindrical just to keep in theme with the rest of the drawing style. Next, you want to draw the pupils and the eyes, which are very round and cute. Followed by the eyelids, which are um, slight curves above the eyeballs. After drawing the eyes, you want to draw the nostrils and the mouth on the beak. I've started by drawing a center line, which follows the center line of the spear to help me guide where to place the nostrils. If you want to add further detail, you can draw a horizontal line like I've drawn here to roughly guide you where the inner nostril should be placed. We can then use the curve of the beak to help us guide where the mouth will be. 
the mouth is just a slightly inward curve. Now that we've finished the construction lines of the dragon, we can then start by doing the final outline of the drawing, which I'm starting to draw here. I'll leave you to some music so you can enjoy this last stage in the process of the drawing. And then later I'll follow up with some instructions on how to draw the red dragon on the left hand side.
In this next part of the video, I'll show you how to draw the dragon on the left hand side. Like the first dragon, I've started off by drawing the head. Instead of a spear, I'm using a, um, an oval shape to represent the head. Next, we're going to draw two triangular structures that overlap the head for the top and the bottom beak, as you can see here. You want the triangular shapes to touch each other, but with a bit of gap in between, so we can show that its mouth is opened. And using one end of the oval and connecting it to the top triangular structure, we're going to draw the eye line, followed by a, um, a vertical line on the side of the oval to help us guide where the neck should be. As you can see here, the neck is represented by a cylindrical shape. But I'm not quite happy with this sketch, so I'm going to go back and rub it out and draw a proper curve. That's why we use um, pencils to draw construction lines, so we can easily rub them out and redo them again. Once that is done, we're going to draw the body of the dragon, which is a slimmer shape, like a narrow egg, you could say. So imagine when you draw these shapes that there's always volume in these um, drawings. It's hard to imagine, but it's something you got to keep in mind when you're drawing these shapes, because when you do the final outline later on, it gives a sense of dimension to the drawing. We're going to follow up by drawing the front and the back legs using cylindrical structures. The front legs has two joints and therefore has two cylinders connected to each other. And then we'll follow up with drawing the feet, which again is like a, a very narrow, almost flat, egg-like shape. Next, we're going to follow the same process for drawing the back legs, but instead of having two joints, we're going to draw three joints using um, the cylinder shapes. Again, use ovals or slim egg-like shape to draw the feet. Don't forget to draw the, um, the legs on the other side of the body as well. Here I'm drawing a simple tail to the um, dragon by using simple, two simple curves that are parallel to each other. You can say they're like S-shaped curves because they bend slightly inwards and then outwards and upwards. You can divide the tail into two more simple shapes, but it's not really necessary. To add the fins, draw um, sharp lines like upturned Vs and then connect them together. After that, go back to the eye line on the oval and then draw the eyes. As you can see, the eye line connects to the top beak of the triangular structure. Then we're going to add more details to the drawing by adding in slight curves to um, signify the, um, the eyelid and also the nostrils and the beak. You can see that I'm focusing on drawing sharper lines to add these details in so that it is different from the first style of the drawing, which are more rounder. Even details like the horns are more sharper. Now you want to add the final detail to the drawing by drawing its wings. The wings can be quite tricky, but if you break it down into basic shapes like two parallelograms that are mirrored one to each other, then you can build a basic shape for the wings, as I've done here. And then at the edge of the shapes, draw um, simple um, curve-like U-shapes and then connect them to one another. 
you don't want to forget the other side of the the body and its wings as well. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial of how to draw a dragon in two different styles. And now I'm going to leave you with some music as you watch how I do the final outline of the drawing.